So we have the engineer Paragon finally out. Let's unlock this guy and let's test it in game. Okay, so checking out the Mega Sentries, it's exactly as we expected it to be. There's no overclock ability and instead it's replaced with the Sentry ability and you place them one by one wherever you want. Now these big ones don't disappear and I think they all have a strong side. Like the purple one needs to be microed but does a lot of damage at the focal point and there's no targeting option to lock it unfortunately. The red one shoots projectiles like the anti balloon and it looks like it's the pure DPS one and the blue one shoots rockets which I think they're meant to do some AoE damage and maybe even some extra damage versus more class. Now as I was playing I noticed that the foam and the trap were missing and so I placed the sentries on the right side and I was surprised to see that one there was no foam or traps being placed but number two I guess I was more surprised that this guy the paragon itself started attacking and his attacks are probably the most powerful ones because not only they do a decent amount of damage but they can stun all mob class balloons except for bats. So as long as you have some sort of a way of dealing with the bats now this guy can keep everything in place and has a ridiculous amount of pierce on it. So with a little bit of micro and as the bats were getting stronger it seemed that the final round for the engineer paragon was 216 which is pretty respectable to be fair but I went back and checked out ISAP's video on how far he made it with the nave arc and it was round 223 so still very close to it but I guess I expected a bit more since it's 34% more expensive than the nave arc. Overall though it's still early and there might be some tricks to still be discovered with this paragon so I hope you guys enjoyed the video there's gonna be a lot more balloons content coming your way testing everything new so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.